Good morning, greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome to beginning of June, and you know what? It's like this entire year has just flown by, hasn't it? For those of you who do not know me, welcome to Heal Talk with Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Um, I am uh, the founder of Heal Within, a place for healing within because that's where transformation begins. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and I am here today. We're going to be talking about what is it that we do in summertime? That's right. Um, managing your weight, having your incredible body that you want, creating the body image. So all that that I do is empower you to stand up for who you are. And I'm going to go deeper into that talk. But before I do, by all means, you can always connect with me, not only here via Facebook, but also my website, which is healwithin.com, and also text um, SLIM to 818-221-2797, and I'll be more than happy. Actually, you can text that's right. That one you get a beautiful um, audio recording. And if you were to text I Matter, automatically we will be scheduled to have a 20 minute um, free consultation together. So let's delve into this and talk about it. You do know that I have a book called Stand Up to Slim Down. Why? Why did I come up with this title? Because I believe every single thing that we want to do to make a change from the inside, which is not only mindset reset, but from the core, from the core of who we are is to first and foremost believe in what it is that we want to create, what it is that we want to achieve. You know, you may not believe that it is possible, but if you were to change that impossible and realize impossible when we separate it becomes I am possible. You know, I'm not the first person who says that, but it is the way I announce it, I share it, and I also do the same thing for myself. So the belief system in everything that we want to do is fourth uh, front row number one number two is how to do it by raising your self-esteem that means I believe this is a possibility now I have to start believing in me that I deserve this that inner worth the inner value the inner uh, tapping on your shoulder that you do for yourself is the first step and then realizing that you're not the only one so many have done it so that means there is a method a method to this madness that we are talking about and what is it that I am talking about is believing in yourself that when you want to achieve something and you set your mind to it, here's what needs to happen. You can do all the affirmations. You can do can cantations, which is affirmations with movement, with body movement. And when you move and when you there is a feeling inside and when you are doing the affirmations that not you only you hear it you feel it your body incorporates it inside we call that what anchoring so once what you think what you want what you visualize and what you say to yourself is incorporated in your mind and in your body then guess what Everything starts working in congruent. Your body will do everything for you to achieve what you desire. Your mind has already set that in motion and your heart starts pumping and saying, let's do this. So everything is working in congruent. 
got it so far? Now, when I work with my clients, this is exactly what I say. Let us empower and boost your self-esteem so you believe that, let's say, dropping 30 pounds, 20 pounds, even 15 pounds, whatever it is that you want. Even the client that came to me and needed to drop over 50 pounds after years and years of just stuffing themselves, it became a reality. So not only we peel away the weight, we peel away the emotional connection, not only to food, but to certain things that we hold on to. So in my book, Stand Up to Slim Down, we talk to, about you want to make this change, but there's so much more to this. So why am I talking about dropping weight, losing weight? Because the words that you say to yourself also matters. So if you talk about losing weight, that you have to lose weight because you don't feel good about yourself, it's different. If you want to lose weight because of the Joneses or anything else, then that becomes a competition. Competition, in a way, is very good. But if it is with negativity, with resentment, then there is that negative emotion in there that no matter what you do, once you achieve it, you're going to revert back because you're not doing it for you, but you're doing it against something. So lifestyle change comes to saying, this is where I am. Here is where I want to be. In order for that to happen, there are certain things that we do. As a hypnotherapist, when you come here, one of the things we do is say, what is your motivation wanting to do this? And you may have exercised, you know how to exercise, you know how much the body fat is supposed to be, you may know exactly what you're supposed to eat, you have all that diet in place, and yet you've done the yo-yo. And that is one of the biggest reasons most of my clients come to me because it's that emotional connection to food is the emotional connection to whatever it is that they are holding on to it's the emotional connection to let's say there is resentment there is jealousy there is angst there's sadness so no matter how beautiful how beautifully the body looks they may not feel good about themselves. So, it's doing this work, the deeper work to heal what is the wound, the scar, the sadness, the guilt, the shame, all that into a deeper level, from a deeper level, from your subconscious mind of why you've been holding on to. So we begin, we begin the peeling away so lifestyle lifestyle changes becomes to understanding once i slim down once i achieve what i want this is what my life is going to look like this is what my body is going to feel am i ready for this am i ready to become this beautiful person and i going to give you an example i had a client that came in wanting to drop weight. I hope you understand that she came in and she needed to lose, and I call it lose, for about 20 pounds, a little bit less than that. But her aim was 20 pounds, okay? And she was not that big. She was probably size 16, wanted to be a size 12. Okay, let's go by size. And if it's not by pound because I work with size I want you to fit in the size that you want imagining the size it's so much easier to know what size it is than the pounds and the reason for that is because the more you exercise muscle weighs more than fat does 
but fat seems larger and bigger. So we do all the work and as we're peeling away layers layers and she starts seeing the difference she starts listening to the uh the audio recording every night she starts going and walking and started jogging with the exercise audio that i give to my clients once they sign up with my nine week course yes there is a course so doing all that she was doing it and she started seeing a difference Lo and behold, she had a boyfriend that as the boyfriend saw this improvement, not only in the body, the way she looked, the, her confidence, and she started dressing a little bit more uh, tighter because she liked her body, the relationship started having problems. The problems became worse as she started feeling good about herself and that created more problem in their intimacy and their relationship going out or doing everything else so as that continued here's what happened she started coming to the sessions and yet she was not listening to the recording she started slacking off she started doing the same yo-yo and then started feeling bad about herself and guess what her language became the same thing as what it used to be it's saying you know this is exactly what happens to me every time I get to a point and then it doesn't work so might as well not do it after doing two more sessions only not on her weight but on herself she came to realize that she wanted to look good she wanted to feel good she wanted to feel sexy also for her boyfriend that they have been together for six years but as she became sexier he was uncomfortable so in order for the relationship not to suffer she started slacking off in order for him to feel better that the relationship was safe again and here's why the work we do when I call it peel away layers it's not only peeling away layers of weight it's peeling away layers of our own self-limiting beliefs when I talk about stand up for yourself it doesn't mean when you stand up you tell everybody off but when you stand up you stand up for yourself so you can believe that what you want is achievable what you want is because of who you are and as you grow and love yourself appreciate yourself accept yourself you learn how to communicate with your lover with your partner with your family members even with your children that as I become better for myself you become a role model for them that because you feel better or sexier it doesn't mean that you're going to accept what you're attracting right because as you become attractive you may attract more but and yet that does not mean that your relationship is going to be in jeopardy so then you start working on your relationship or realize what is this relationship based on so it could have either way and that is why the work we do is first and foremost you getting to know yourself getting to know your strengths your values your ethics your lifestyle what you want to achieve 
how you want to achieve, why you want to achieve what you want to achieve. So dropping weight, and I call it dropping weight, is very easy. But realizing that as I drop this weight, what are you holding on to is also revealed. What you think about yourself is revealed. Now, by saying all this, here's another thing. I don't know if you can relate to this, and it may not be only on weight. It could be a lot of things. It could be success. It could be any other habit that you have been holding on to because habits are formed after you do something over and over, over and over, and it becomes an automatic form that without thinking, you're already doing, and as you continue doing it, it feels good for you, and it may be temporary, but as you continue doing it without cognitive understanding why you took that habit on, it becomes a part of behavior. It becomes a part of your new behavior, and that becomes a part of your new lifestyle as you continue doing so. Hopefully, by now, you are s sitting back and thinking to yourself, hmm, what have been the things that I have been doing, habit, perhaps chewing on your nails, on your cuticles, playing with your hair, smoking, drinking, overeating, and I'm not saying don't drink, but it's the over-drinking, over-eating, over the compulsive orders and the things that you want to keep in order and yet you connect it to an emotion and you put a lid on what you want to express by suppressing it. So one of my questions in my in the booklet that I have, it says, have you been using emotional baggage or physical weight to protect yourself? You see, this is one of the things that we take on habits is because it feels good and it put, puts us, pardon me for that, puts you in a comfort zone. And that comfort zone becomes more comfortable as the days go by, weeks go by, months go by. And next thing you know is, I feel so comfortable in here that this is who I am. I'm an introvert or I've become more an introvert. I've become more cocooning. I'm eating because it feels good. And maybe you are hurting and you're having a hard time letting go of something. And instead of realizing what it is you're having a hard time letting go, and it could be grieving about something else, Without realizing, you add on more weight on yourself because you start eating, eating away. Hmm? So the work that we do is not so much what you eat, but what's eating at you. And when you look at certain things, another question in the book is, do you hide your weaknesses from the world and try, the imperative word, try to handle them on your own, alone? You know, some people hide food or like to eat by themselves so that no one is watching, so that no one can judge or criticize not only their body, the way they look, the way they sound, or even the way they eat, their manners. So there is so much about the core, the emotional connection to everything about you and your body image. 
I hope by now I have given you glimpses, a glimpse of the things we do, the way I work with my clients. So when we talk about Heal Within, it's truly delving deeper through hypnotherapy. It's one of my modalities. It can be another tool. It can be just sitting and doing talk and yet taking you into a deeper state of remembering certain things. Another tool I use you, you see those are all tools and techniques what we call them is uh, NLP timeline therapy cognitive therapy hypnotherapy those are tools that we utilize to do the therapy work okay yes you can do all the exercises by all means I too do my own exercises I'm not a hardcore I'm not a gym person I like to say that I'm not a um, group or going to the gym, but doing the work is very valuable. So today, that is what we are talking about. And I wanted to share some segments of how I work with my clients for them to stand up, to slim down. If you are ready for this change, summer is here, everybody wants to go to the beach, wanting to put your bathing suit on, to marvel in the sun, and especially nowadays, it's time for a vacation, and that's exactly what you can achieve. So, contact me. You can always connect with me right here, call me at the office, or even text I Matter to 818-221-2797. And we can get on a discovery call to see if this modality of how I work is one way that you would like to take on and if it's a great fit together, or perhaps you know someone who might be interested in doing exactly this. Now, I want you to also remember one thing. There is this word called, there's this word that so many of us use, I can't. And if you drop the T, just the T, you will realize that you can because everything we do is a choice a choice to love to be loved to accept to feel appreciated to be loving and to feel good about who you are for that I want to thank you for being here and by all means I look forward to seeing you next week this is Lisa. God bless and goodbye. May the universal light surround you. Until next week, bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.